magic word Here in the secret kindergarten The world's best show for kids is starting The secret kindergarten radio show Use your ears and your imagination We're going to play, we're having fun Welcome to the Secret Kindergarten Radio Show on Revolution Radio. Are you feeling sad? Did someone say you're bad? Do you want to cry? Are there tears in your eyes? Well, stand yourself up straight before it is too late. Step on through the gate to the Secret Kindergarten with your mate, Gino as in G. No! Straight in to nature time. And here at the Secret Kindergarten, we're bringing back something special. We're reclaiming something. That's for every single one of you young children out there and for all of us on planet Earth. It's the rainbow! That's right, it's rainbow time. I'm going to read you a little story called Light Makes Rainbows. Here we go. I'm going to turn that music down a bit. Making a rainbow. You see rain. You see the sun. You know what that means. You see a rainbow. A rainbow happens when light goes through water drops. The drops bend the light. And when the light bends, it splits into colors. So what is light? Light is a kind of energy. It moves very fast. Scientists think light moves faster than all other things. The energy of light is in small parts. The parts move together in waves. The waves are called light waves. Light from the sun holds all the colors mixed together. And each color has its own wavelength. A wavelength is how wide the wave is. And the drops of water can bend the waves of light. And when they do, the color waves line up. The colors line up from the longest wave to the shortest. And they always line up in the same order. Think of a man named Roy G. Biv. <laughs> the letters of his name stand for the colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. The colors come out when the sun shines through the rain and they make a pretty rainbow. And one thing you can do at home, you can ask your mummy and daddy to get a bottle, a spray bottle full of water 
and you can spray it outside and see if you can see a rainbow come through the mist of water that you spray. All right. And that was our nature time. Let's play some music. I am dancing around with my rainbow colors, dancing around and around. I am dancing around with my rainbow colors, dancing around and around. I can reach up high and twirl them around and twirl them slowly to the ground. I am dancing around with my rainbow colors, dancing around and around. I am jumping up and down with my rainbow colors, jumping, jumping up and down. I am jumping up and down with my rainbow colors Jumping, jumping up and down I can reach up high and twirl them around Then twirl them slowly to the ground I am jumping up and down with my rainbow colors Jumping, jumping up and down I am swaying back and forth with my rainbow colors Making a rainbow in the sky I am swaying back and forth with my rainbow colors Making a rainbow in the sky I can reach up high and twirl them around Then twirl them slowly to the ground I am swaying back and forth with my rainbow colors Making a rainbow in the sky I am making a rainbow in the sky I love rainbows! I love actual real rainbows that you can see in the sky because they're ours! Good night. If you're wearing black 
pat on the back. We're singing the colors, shaking to the colors, clapping to the color blues. Singing and sharing all the colors you're wearing from your head down to your shoes. Red, green, blue, yellow, orange, purple, too. We're singing the color blues. If you're wearing blue, put your hands down on your shoes. If you're wearing red, give yourself a little pat on the head. If you're wearing yellow, can you wiggle like a bowl full of jello? If you're wearing pink, Give your eyes a little blink, blink, blink. If you're wearing white, put your head down, say good night, good night. If you're wearing black, can you give yourself a big pat on the back? We're singing the colors, shaking to the colors, clapping to the color blues. Singing and sharing all the colors you're wearing from your head down to your shoes. Red, green, blue, yellow, orange, purple, too. We're singing the color blues. Red, green, blue, yellow, orange, purple, too. We're singing the color blues. When I think of a rainbow, sometimes I think of a nice rainbow over the ocean, and then I think of a turtle feeling nice and at home in his home in the sea. And because of that, we're going to listen to a couple of stories about turtles. So this first story is called, Was It the First Turtle? Here we go. Was it the first turtle? Once upon a time, there was a great fight between two tribes of Indians. It was so fierce that the river ran red with blood and the war cries were so loud and angry that the animals of the forest ran in terror. The warriors fought all day long, and when it began to grow dark, all the men on one side had been killed but two warriors, one of whom was known as Turtle. In those days there were no such animals as turtles in the ponds and rivers, and no one knew why he was called by that name. At last Turtle's friend was struck by an arrow and fell to the ground. Now yield, cried the enemies. Friend, said the turtle, are you dead? No, said his friend. Then I will fight on, said turtle. And he called out, Give life again to the warriors whom you have killed with your wicked arrows, and then I will yield, but never before. Come on, cowards that you are. You are afraid of me. You do not dare to come. Then his enemies said, We will all shoot our arrows at once and some one of them will be sure to kill him. They made ready to fire, but Turtle too made ready. He had two thick shields, and he put one over his back and one over his breast. Then he called to his fierce enemies, Are you not ready? Come on, fierce warriors, shoot your arrows through my breast if you can. The warriors all shot, but not an arrow struck Turtle, for the two shields covered his breast and his back, and whenever an arrow buzzed through the air, he drew in his head and his arms between the shields, and so he was not harmed. Why do you not aim at me, he cried. Are you shooting at the mountain, or at the sun, or at the moon? Good fighters you are indeed, try again. His enemy shot once more, and this time an arrow killed the wounded friend as he lay on the ground. When Turtle cried, Friend, are you living? There was no answer. My friend is dead, said Turtle. I will fight no more. He is yielded, cried his enemies. He has not, said Turtle, and with one great leap he sprang into the river. His enemies did not dare to spring after him. Those long arms of his would pull us to the bottom, they said, but we will watch till he comes up, and then we shall be sure of him. They were not so sure as they thought, for he did not come up and all that they could see in the water was a strange creature unlike anything that had been there before. It has arms and a head, said one, and it pulls him out of sight, just as Turtle did, said the other. It has a shield over its back and one over its breast, 
as Turtle had, said the first. Then all the warriors were so eager to watch the strange animal that they no longer remembered to fight. They crowded up to the shore of the river. It is not Turtle, cried one. It is Turtle, declared another. It is so like him that I did not care to go into the water as long as he is in sight, said still another. But if this is not Turtle, where is he? they all asked and not one of the wise men of their tribe could answer. Good turtle! Turtle power! <laughs> right, let's play another story. This one's called How the Turtle Saved His Own Life. How the Turtle Saved His Own Life A king once had a lake made in the courtyard for the young princess to play in. They swam about in it, and sailed their boats and rafts on it. One day the king told them he had asked the men to put some fishes into the lake. Off the boys ran to see the fishes. Now along the fishes there was a turtle. The boys were delighted with the fishes, but they had never seen a turtle, and they were afraid of it, thinking it was a demon. They ran back to their father, crying, there is a demon on the bank of the lake. The king ordered his men to catch the demon and to bring it to the palace. When the turtle was brought in, the boys cried and ran away. The king was very fond of his sons, so he ordered the men who had brought the turtle to kill it. How shall we kill it? they asked. Pound it to powder, said someone. Bake it in hot coals, said another. So one plan after another was spoken of. Then an old man, who had always been afraid of the water, said, Throw the king into the lake where it flows out over the rocks into the river. Then it will surely be killed. When the turtle heard what the old man said, he thrust out his head and asked, Friend, what have I done? That you should do such a dreadful thing as that to me. The other plans were bad enough, but to throw me in the lake? Don't speak of such a cruel thing. When the king heard what the turtle said, he told his men to take the turtle at once and throw it into the lake. The turtle laughed to himself as he slid away down the river to his old home. Good, he said. Those people do not know how safe I am in the water. <laughs> the old turtle. Safe in his own home. And what a sight to behold that would be, to see a turtle swimming in the, well, in the lake or in the sea. If you saw one, boy, you wouldn't know what to think. And the turtle safe and protected in his home. And I hope you're safe and protected in your home too. Let's play a little bit of music. And we've got an activity coming up. In our community we have ducks. In our community we have trucks. In our community we have plants. In our community we have community we have dogs in our community we have frogs in our community we have cats in our community we have bats take a little time you can always find something that rhymes with another if you see a boy playing with a toy look around you'll probably see a mother a sister or a brother in our community we have books in our community we have cooks in our community we have trees in our community we have bees take a little time you can always find something that rhymes with another if you see a boy playing with a toy look around your problem mother, a dad, a sister, or a brother. In our community we have frogs. In our 
community we have docks in our community we have boats in our community we have notes in our community we have chimes in our community we have lots of rhymes Shells from under the ocean, shells from under the sea. If you find a pretty shell, you can bring it home to me. Shells from the coast of Africa or from the Florida Keys. If you find a pretty shell, you can bring it home to me. Shells the color of a rainbow or shells as white as can be If you find a pretty shell you can bring it home to me Shells from under the ocean shells from under the sea If you find a pretty shell you can bring it home to me If you find a pretty shell you can bring it home to me We are coming up to the bottom of the hour Another half hour of Secret Kindergarten So we're going to do an activity remember this one wishes for the world because we've got to get our heads right and we've got to think the best ideas for the world to make them happen when we grow up to take action on those ideas when we're older so let's pretend to make a giant ball that holds all of our friendly wishes for the world. Don't tell anybody your wish. But what do you wish? I wonder. Okay, you hold on to that wish. And let's put that wish into the ball. I'm putting my wish in there. Ugh. My wish is in there. Have you put your wish in? Well, the ball is growing bigger and bigger. Everybody put your wishes in. Let's fill that ball up. Have you got your wish in there yet? All right. Oh, that's... That ball's about to pop. All right. Okay. Are you ready? We're going to throw this ball up into the air. Everybody grab onto it. Okay, ready? We're going to toss the ball up into the sky. And we're going to imagine that it carries our wishes to everyone, everywhere. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, have you got it? Okay, I've got the ball too. Ready? One, two, three. There it goes. There goes the ball. Let's wave goodbye. Bye bye ball. And let's imagine that the ball is bringing our wishes to everyone everywhere.
because I want you to feel connected and loved out there. So take care, everybody. Bye. Bye bye.